I was walking around in a Target store when I saw a cashier hand this little boy some money back. The boy couldn't have been more than four or five years old. The cashier said, I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money to buy this doll. Then the little boy turned to the old woman next to him. Granny, are you sure I don't have enough money? The old lady replied, you know that you don't have enough money to buy this doll, my dear. Then she asked him to stay there for just five minutes while she went to look around. She left quickly. The little boy was still holding the doll in his hands. Finally, I walked towards him and asked him who he wished to give this doll to. It's the doll that my sister loved most and wanted so much for Christmas. She was sure that Santa would bring it to her. I replied to him that maybe Santa Claus would bring it to her after all, and not to worry. But he replied to me sadly, No, Santa Claus can't bring it to her where she is now. I have to give the doll to my mommy so she can give it to my sister when she goes there. His eyes were so sad while saying this. My sister has gone to be with God. Daddy says that mommy is going to see God very soon too. So I thought that she could take the doll with her to give it to my sister. My heart nearly stopped. This little boy looked up to me and said, I told daddy to tell mommy not to go yet. I need her to wait until I come back from the mall. Then he showed me a very nice photo of him where he was laughing. <clears throat> he then told me, I want mommy to take my picture with her so she won't forget me. I love my mommy and I wish she doesn't have to leave me, but daddy says that she has to go be with my little sister. Then he looked again at the doll with sad eyes, very quietly. I quickly reached for my wallet and said to the boy, suppose we check again, just in case you do have enough money for the doll. Okay, he said. I hope I do have enough. I added some of my money to his without him saying it, and we started to count. There was enough for the doll and even some spare money. The little boy said, Thank you, God, for giving me enough money. Then he looked at me and added, I asked last night before I went to sleep for God to make sure that I have enough money to buy this doll so that Mommy could give it to my sister. He heard me. I also wanted to have enough money to buy a white rose for Mommy, but I didn't dare ask God for that much. It was too much. But he gave me enough to buy the doll and a white rose. My Mommy loves white roses, he said happily with tears in his eyes. A few minutes later, the old lady returned and I left with my basket. On my way home, I remembered a local newspaper article two days ago, which mentioned a drunk man in a truck who hit a car accompanied by a young woman and a little girl. The little girl died right away and the mother was left in a critical state. The family had to decide whether to pull the plug on the life-sustaining machine because the young woman would not be able to recover from the coma. Was this the family of the little boy? Two days after this encounter with the little boy, I read in the newspaper that the young woman had passed away. I couldn't stop myself as I brought a bunch of white roses and went to the funeral home where the body of the young woman was exposed for people to see and make last wishes before her burial. She was there, in her coffin, holding a beautiful white rose in her hands, with the photo of the little boy and the doll placed over her chest. I left the place, teary-eyed, feeling that my life had been changed forever. The love that this little boy had for his mother and his sister is still, to this day, hard to imagine. And in a fraction of a second, a drunk driver had taken all of this away from him. You never know how long a person has to live. Spend every day of your life happy and appreciating the people you love, the time you have with them. You never know when that person will be taken away. The value of a person resides in what a person is capable of giving rather than receiving. When you have the opportunity and the resources to help someone, help the person. You never know the situation the person is in. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more from me.